He went back on his previous Super Bowl prediction. His <laughs> prediction was that the Green Bay Packers will win the a NFC. He's now going with the Atlanta Falcons. And I think you gave us a little hint. You picked the Steelers in the preseason, and it sounds like you're going back on that one too. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, New England. I just think that, um, you know, just like in The Godfather, you don't go against the family. Mm -hmm. You're in Gillette. You're not going against Belichick and, and, uh, and Brady, especially because I just think that – and look, we can all talk about Brady's motivation, but like I said, Bill Belichick against Le'Veon Bell is so fascinating <laughs> yeah. to me. That's like the matchup of the year. Le'Veon Bell just throws his helmet out there and he gets 155 yards. I mean, how about this? The Steelers' postseason rushing record for a game stood for 42 years until Le'Veon Bell broke it two weeks ago. Then it stood for six days <laughs> until he broke it again. I, the guy is pretty good this just in. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I like New England, too. I did pick them preseason, which is hardly a risky pick. But for me, I think the Texans' defense was so good that it made them look uncomfortable in the first half. And I think Pittsburgh's defense is hot. Uh, I really – Ryan Jay's ear scares me a little bit. I mm -hmm. feel like him roaming around in that middle area where Brady likes to live is a little dangerous. But I think that Pittsburgh's defense is a little bit inferior. I think Brady looks more comfortable. Uh, I think it'll be sort of a pass to running back kind of short passing game. They find a way to win. I like a high-scoring one. I like a more 31-24 New England. Okay, so if we look at the teams yeah. that have gone into Foxborough and win or knocked the Patriots out of the playoffs, Ravens, Jets, Giants, what do they all do? They all hit Tom Brady. Yeah. And we saw last week, what do the Texans do? How, could the, how do the Texans keep it close with a putrid offense? They hit Tom Brady. I don't think the Steelers can hit Tom Brady enough. And I think, that's the, I think that's the problem. And it's exacerbated by the fact that the Patriots can now run the ball, which is different than last year. Right. Last year, the Denver Broncos were able to go in there and play their nickel defense the whole game. And Wade Phillips could say to Demarcus Ware and Vaughn Miller yep. and all those guys, go. Go get 12. You can't do that anymore because LeGarrette Blunt's having a huge year because Deion Lewis has emerged again as a major weapon. And so I think the Patriots running game is a big part of them being able to control the pace of things, keep Ben Roethlisberger and company off the field. And so I'm going to take the Patriots 31-24.